Okay, so what I wanted to do today was just show you really quickly how to install profiles on your computer. I'm going to show you how to do this on a Mac. Because on a PC it's quite easy. you just got to copy it to your desktop and click install and then the profile should be in your program of choice. We just have to find your colour sync folder and your profiles folder and then pop the profiles into there. But I'll show you how to do that now. First of all, what we need to do is put the profile on our desktop. Now, if you've downloaded it from our website, it will probably be in your downloads folder, so you can just copy it out of your downloads folder onto the desktop, like I have done here. Now, if you have had a custom profile made, then it will be in the email attachment. And we just need to either drag and drop that onto the desktop or click download if you're in Google or Yahoo and just specify the desktop for it to download to. Now we, we do this just so we can easily find the profile because what we don't want to do is be searching on the computer all around trying to find it. We just want to pop it on the desktop so we can find it nice and easy. So okay, so like I said, what we need to do first is find the colour sync folder then we can pop this profile into it. Now. To start with, if you go up to Go and click, and in here you will see a list of locations on your computer. If we go to one mark Computer, and it will bring up this Finder window here. Now we need to click on Macintosh HD, which is your hard drive, and it will come up with four options across here, and one of these will be Library. So if we double click on Library, and in here you've got a big list of folders and even fonts at the bottom. What we're interested in though is the colour sync folder which is here. I would just double click on that one. Now in this colour sync folder there will be a profiles folder. So we click on that one. So as you can see we've gone into the profiles folder and we've got a big list of profiles here. So what I need to do is just copy the profile on our desktop into this profile folder. And the simplest way to do that is just to click, hold down, just drag it across and drop it in. Now it may come up and ask you for a password, which is absolutely fine. Just need to pop in our password here. And then once the password's put in, you just click enter and your profile will be installed here. And that is it. When you go into Photoshop and Lightroom or any of the pro other programs you use, the profile will be installed for you. Hope that's been a help and please check out our other videos. Thanks very much.